Welcome to the Rocketry Awards for 2021! Despite this year being somewhat of a challenging year for amateur rocketry, there are still some notable student rocketry activities over the past year. Today we're going to break down all of the most powerful and highest flying rockets of 2021 in the student community. So let's get into it! The categories we'll be considering for the Amateur Rocketry Awards of 2021 can be seen here. Let's start off with the highest flying liquid rocket. This category requires that the engine powering the rocket be using a liquid for both the oxidizer and the fuel. This category is unique in the amateur community because liquid rockets tend to be more complex, which can be a problem for student groups which are usually constrained by budget. Nonetheless, many student rocketry groups attempted to build liquid rocket engines with some success this year. The competition was fierce in this category, with only 200 meters in altitude separating the top two vehicles. A student group called Rocket Project at UCLA was able to launch their liquid rocket, which was powered by ethanol and liquid oxygen, all the way to an altitude of 6,700 meters. This altitude was actually a world record for that category. Only a couple months later, a student rocketry group called Danstar was able to launch their rocket named Valkry, which is powered by isopropyl alcohol and nitrous oxide. Danstar was hoping to upset the record set by the UCLA team, but unfortunately they ended up falling short of the goal at only 6,500 meters altitude. That's only 200 meters short of the record! I can only imagine what it's like to miss by such a close margin. So, the Amateur Rocketry Award for Highest Flying Liquid Rocket goes to Rocket Project at UCLA for their Ambition Rocket. This rocket also has the accolades of setting a new world record in the student liquid rocket category. But this isn't the only world record that we're going to be discussing today, because 2021 is actually the year of records. Congratulations to the UCLA team! You can find links to their YouTube channel in the description below, and also to the other groups that we're discussing in this video. Next up, we have the highest flying hybrid rocket. This rocket requires that there be a liquid oxidizer and a solid fuel. In a way, it's kind of combining both the parts of a liquid rocket and the parts of a solid rocket. These types of rockets are becoming more popular in the amateur community for their high performance and also high safety. Most of the high performance rockets launched this year were actually hybrid rockets, so we can expect this category to become more competitive in the future. There was even a group called the Delft Aerospace Rocket Engineers, or DARE for short, which was able to get out to the launch stand with their Stratos 4 vehicle in order to break the world student hybrid rocketry record of 32 kilometers. This record is held by the Heroes rocket, which was developed by a German student rocketry group called High End. Despite their ambitious goals, ultimately Dare was unable to launch their Stratos 4 vehicle because of a problem they had with their filling valve. This left the category wide open for a potential new contender. The winner this year is a vehicle called Picard. It's powered by a combination of nitrous oxide and paraffin wax, as many of the hybrid vehicles in this category are, and was able to reach an altitude of 6,400 meters. Picard was built by a Swiss student group called Eris, and was actually able to break the Swiss national rocketry record for amateurs. Congratulations to the Eris team for their fantastic hybrid engineering! To wrap up the altitude categories, we have the highest flying rocket built by students in 2021. This category does not require any special type of propulsion, and can utilize solid rockets, which are more common in the amateur community. The current world record is held by USC Rocket Propulsion Lab, with their Traveler 4 vehicle, which was able to reach an altitude of 103 kilometers. Surely a tall order to follow up! Although the world record for this category was not broken this year, some national records were. The highest flying rocket for all of 2021 is Stenton. This is a rocket that was built by a Norwegian student group, called Propulse NTNU. Stetten, which is named after a mountain in Norway, has a maximum thrust of 4.5 kN. Although it's not the most powerful rocket on this list, it more than makes up for this with its optimized engineering design. Stetten is a very skinny rocket, which means that it minimizes the amount of drag it experiences when traveling at higher speeds. Furthermore, the rocket is primarily designed with carbon fiber and fiberglass, which are very lightweight materials that have high strength. This means that the overall mass of the vehicle was also very small, allowing it to go further and faster. Adding all these design choices up, the vehicle was able to reach a final altitude of 9,815 meters. This also sets a new Norwegian record for student rocketry. To add a cherry on top, Propulse was even successfully able to recover the rocket. Kudos to the recovery team! All around, really successful rocket! 
We look forward to what Propulse has in store for the coming years. There are even rumors of a potential Carmen line attempt. So those are the highest flying rockets. But what about the most powerful rockets built by students in 2021? Which ones had the most force? This category takes into account all the engines which have been tested and flown in 2021 successfully. That means no explosions. There are numerous student groups which are currently developing rockets which will take them all the way to space or 100 kilometers in altitude. In order to achieve this task, you need a really powerful rocket. So it's no surprise here that records were about to fall. The old record for the most powerful rocket developed by a student group goes to the DHX-400 Nimbus, which is a rocket that's specifically developed to take the Stratos-4 vehicle all the way to the Kármán line. This rocket was fired about two years ago and has been in development for Stratos' attempt to go to the Kármán line this year. Unfortunately, the vehicle never flew, so it's still just an engine that has been in testing. Nonetheless, it still held the record for the most powerful student rocket ever fired. That is, until this year. Winning the category for the most powerful student rocket engine fired in 2021 is a Canadian group called Space Concordia. They're currently developing a rocket engine called the Stewart engine for their Star Sailor vehicle, which they're hoping will one day reach the Kármán line. Stewart is a liquid rocket which Space Concordia was developing in response to the Base 11 challenge, which promised $1 million to the first student group that could bring a liquid engine all the way to the Kármán line. Unfortunately, the Base 10 challenge had to be closed down because of limited funds, but that didn't deter the Space Concordia team. Despite numerous setbacks, including the global pandemic, they pushed forward with the Stewart rocket development. This culminated in the most powerful successful hot fire of a rocket developed by students. During testing in June, Space Concordia was able to throttle the Stewart rocket up to 37 kilonewtons of thrust. This easily sets a new record for amateur rocketry by over 50%. Space Concordia plans to finally launch their Star Sailor rocket this summer from a launch site in Churchill, Manitoba. So stay tuned for updates on their progress. It is important to note that the Star Sailor engine did not actually see flight. It only stayed on the test stand. So what was the most powerful rocket that actually flew? The standing record for this category is held by another DARE rocket called the DHX-400 Nimbus. This was an engine that was capable of producing 25 kilonewtons of thrust and powered Stratos-3 Stratos 3 was the original vehicle that Dare was hoping would get to the Kármán line, but unfortunately it broke up about 20 seconds after flight. Nonetheless, it still counts as the most powerful rocket ever flown by a student group. Unfortunately, many of the high power engines in development this year did not actually get to see flight. Nevertheless, it turns out that the Picard rocket developed by Eris ends up winning this category. As we discussed earlier, Picard has a hybrid propulsion system powered by nitrous oxide and paraffin wax. With a peak thrust of 9.5 kN, Picard easily wins this category. Congrats to the Eris team for the double win! I'm by winning. The final category is for the most spectacular, rapid, unscheduled disassembly of 2021. This is a term that space engineers use for explosions when they don't want it to sound so explosive. But make no mistake, they are quite spectacular. This category is a bit subjective, but hey, what can I say? If you disagree, let us know in the comments below. Explosions are common when developing new types of engines, and amateur rocketry is certainly no exception to this. But explosion does not necessarily mean that you have a failure, because sometimes explosions can be really big teaching moments that help us to hone our designs and develop new technologies and better ways of doing things. Without further ado, the award for most spectacular rapid unscheduled disassembly goes to... The USC Rocket Propulsion Lab for their Earth Shakier test stand. I mean, with a name like that, they were practically tempting fate. The Earth Shakier engine ripped itself apart less than a second after ignition during a test that they performed back in November. This engine is being developed by the USC RPL team in order to power their Dome Piercer rocket. This is planned to rewrite the record that they already have for the student amateur rocketry of 103 kilometers but also to break the overall amateur rocketry record of 117 kilometers held by the Go Fast rocket. Best of luck to the team! We look forward to their future developments. And there you have it everyone! Those are some of the spectacular amateur rocketry activities over 2021. Be sure to stay tuned with us to find out what's coming up for 2022 as the race to the Kármán line begins to heat up. To stay up to date with the race to the Kármán line, be sure to subscribe because we'll be following it extensively. And remember, to keep expanding your horizons.